On the third floor of this townhouse is where all the bedrooms are, as well as the ensuite and the shared bath. Serenity comes to mind when I think of the primary bedroom retreat. We've created a space that combines organic textiles, natural materials, all executed in thoughtful layering with a monochromatic palette and some pops of black just for accents and for a little bit of drama. We added some iconic pieces like the Burlwood desk and paired it with a sculptural chair for not only visual interest, but to carve out an area where you can have your morning coffee or just get ready for your day. We've added wall-to-wall -wall pleated drapes and stationary drapes that create a soft atmosphere. It's a very romantic environment. It helps to improve circadian rhythms and aid in sleep optimization, which is key. We added some visual interest with the oversized seagrass wicker chandelier. It's constructed in a natural material, so it keeps everything soft, but it definitely adds the wow factor. We introduced a canopy bed that creates a really nice focal point in here and also pulls in some of those clean lines we've used in the rest of the home. We added a lot of storage in here as well in the closet and we stained the cabinetry in the same color as the hardwood floors just to give it that continuous look. In researching our approach to wellness, I went on a housing tour in New York and was really influenced by all the luxury principal en suites that I'd seen. One main theme was the use of floor to ceiling marble everywhere, so I wanted to bring that trend into our version of a luxury en suite for Kyle Moore. I treated the walls with a wainscoting clad in faux marble. It is a 6 and 12 inch alternating tile that rises to 42 inches, and we finished this with a black marble pencil bullnose trim. I chose a black freestanding tub that feels a little bit masculine, but because of the curvature is a little bit feminine. So it's the juxtaposition of those two elements that play really nicely together. The contrast of the floor mount tub filler and hand shower combination is in a brass. It's very lovely and adds a lot of dimension overall. We added very graphic Kelly Wurstler graffito fabric in here. It's so fun. We didn't feel the need to add any art in here. It serves that graphic element so beautifully and dresses the windows at the same time. To offset some of the curvature in this ensuite, I designed a very tailored and refined rift cut oak vanity. I added bespoke details with the integrated chamfered finger pull openings on the drawer faces. This unit has a lot of storage and feels like a custom piece of furniture in here. The shower continues the use of the floor to ceiling porcelain tile. I love the contrast of the cool tile against the warmth of the fixtures. It feels so elegant. We added six inches from the closet in order to accommodate a shower bench. One really unique element in here is the black shower jam. So it's a black stone that really gives the illusion of black doors and creates a nice focal point and again, balances the weight of the design in here. One sumptuous detail you can't see, but you could certainly feel if you're in the space are the heated floors that we've added. This really creates a lovely spa-like atmosphere. They are also on a Wi-Fi thermostat enabled smart program. So you could be lying in bed, turn those heated floors on, make your way to your ensuite and really enjoy a lovely, comfortable, cozy space. On the third floor of this townhouse, we have three bedrooms. Two of those bedrooms are outfitted for children growing into their adolescent years. Both spaces are very light and bright and airy and contemporary, but we did have some fun with the girls' room. We played with a lot of bold patterns and vibrant colors. And I also drew some inspiration from a children's book series called Little People, Big Dreams. It features influential women that are done in a really whimsical way. And so in this bedroom, we featured Frida Kahlo. We also used some natural materials through the cane bed, the marble side tables, and then we have to talk about the size of the windows. Now, it's not usual that you find oversized windows in bedrooms, but it's a staple for Kyle Moore, especially in the guest room. We have cathedral ceilings, the windows are very tall, and we dress the oversized windows with soft pleated shears to allow for a nice light to shine through, but also to add some privacy. For the main bath, I started off by applying a 12 by 24 Carrera tile for the floors and for the tub enclosure and surround. But for the shower walls, we did a really beautiful hexagon mosaic tile, also marble, but has this really lovely floral applique that resembles the floral applique on the sisal wallpaper. The wallpaper is grass cloth, it has a lot of texture, 
and just creates so much visual interest. I absolutely love it. We added a lot of brass fixtures and framed the hexagon tile with a brass inlay for added interest. It looks like art and why not? Let's frame it. The objective here was to create spaces that really optimize sleep and relaxation and also had a lot of elevated moments. I can't wait to show you how we elevated the ground floor of this townhouse.